a few more stray definitions. Continuity is defined in terms of limits, two-sided limits. We could define one-sided continuity in terms of one-sided limits. So, for example, if you replace the limits with left-hand limits, you get left continuity. Right continuity is defined similarly. Don't worry too much about these definitions, though. We are going to use them exactly once in this course, and that time is right to now. What does it mean for a function to be continuous, not at a point, but on a closed interval? Well, it simply means that it's continuous at every point in the interval except that for technical reasons, at the end points, we talk not about continuity, but of left and right continuity. One more definition in this video. We frequently talk about functions being continuous. And what we mean when we say that a function is continuous is that it's continuous at every value in its domain. And you have to be careful with this definition because it can be kind of unintuitive. F of X equals one divided by X is an example of a continuous function. And yet this continuous function is not continuous to zero. Zero is not in the domain of this function. If you look at the definition of continuity, it fails this very first condition. One divided by zero does not exist. So this is a continuous function that has points where it's not continuous. That can be confusing. So frequently, instead of saying that functions are continuous, we say that a function is continuous on its domain. This drives home the fact that the function is continuous where it's defined. But if a number isn't in its domain, for example, zero here, of course, it's not continuous there. It's only continuous, well, like it says on its domain. So this and this 
mean the same thing, but I tend to say this because I find it clearer. 